In the summer of 2019, Manchester United were looking to strengthen their midfield with a certain Lazio midfielder. Yet, three years later, Sergei Milinkovic Savic has yet again been linked to Manchester United. But with the box to box midfielder now being available for just 50 million euros, have Manchester United eyed him up as our Frankie de Jong alternative? Also, with him having just one year left on his Manchester United contract, could Marcus Rashford potentially be on his way to Paris Saint Germain? Well, let's discuss all this in the latest episode of Transfers FC. But starting off, let's start off with the 50 million euro transfer of Sergei Milinkovic Savic. As according to Jason Burt of The Telegraph, Manchester United are considering a move to finally sign Lazio's Sergei Milinkovic Savic, with him suggesting that Savic would cost around 50 million euros, which is 42 million pounds. Yes, yes, and yes. This signing right here of Sergei Milinkovic Savic, it makes so much sense for Manchester United. As the signing of Milinkovic Savic, for me, he would be a like for like, level raising upgrade on Scott McTominay. As if we are to discuss the two, just like the Scotsman, Milinkovic Savic is a tall, strong midfielder who would offer Manchester United aerial presence in both attacking and defensive boxes. However, the fact about Milinkovic Savic is, unlike McTominay, he is a technically gifted midfielder who excels in the half space but more importantly excels in the final third and you can see this excellence in the final third as according to Statman Dave in last year's Serie A Sergei Milinkovic Savage scored 11 goals and registered 11 assists and with this stat right here he was the only central midfielder to reach double figures for both goals and assists across Europe's top 5 leagues and that right there shows how Savage excels in the final third when it comes to box to box midfielders, Savage is in the elite of the elite for goal and chance creation. However, the fact about Milinkovic Savage is he is not only a midfielder that will offer you goals and assists, as he really is the jack of all trades. As if we look at this stat right here from who scored, well, Sergei Milinkovic Savic was one of two central midfielders in Europe's top five leagues last season, alongside Lucas Paqueta to average more than one per game for tackles, key passes, shots, aerials one and dribbles. As it says, he is a midfielder that does a bit of everything. So with the signing of Milinkovic Savic, he is a box to box midfielder who would offer us genuine threat in the final third, offer us goals and assists, being a jack of all traits and with him being 27 years old, Milinkovic Savic still has some of the best years ahead of him. But would Milinkovic Savage be a like for like alternative to Frankie De Jong? Well, according to Jason Burt, he would. As he said, Manchester United have not given up on Frankie De Jong despite all the signs. Only after giving up on him would Manchester United move for someone such as Sergei Milinkovic Savage. So, according to Jason Burt, Sergei Milinkovic Savage is our alternative to Frankie De Jong, which for me doesn't make a lot of sense. Stylistically, Sergei Milinkovic Savic is a number 8. However, if we were to sign Frankie de Jong, for me, he would have played in that Regista 6th role that Fred is currently playing. As he would be our main ball progressor, he would be the man getting the ball from deep and progressing it to someone like Bruno Fernandes or Sergei Milinkovic Savic. As Savic would be the one trying to collect the ball in the final third. So for me, the only reason Manchester United would see Sergei Milinkovic Savic as an alternative to Frankie de Jong is because if we were to sign Frankie de Jong, we simply would not spend £42 million on another midfielder. However, with that all being said, the signing of Sergei Milinkovic Savic makes a lot of sense for Manchester United. He is a midfielder that will offer us a genuine threat in the final third. He is a midfielder that will offer us goals, assists, a genuine threat in the final third, aerial and physical presence, and with him being a jack of all traits and being ambidextrous. The signing of Sergei Milinkovic Savic makes so much sense for Manchester United. 
But with that being said, as per usual lads, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on a potential signing of someone like Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Do you want Manchester United to sign him for around 50 million euros? And if not, who do you want Manchester United to sign? But with that being said, now let's move on to the potential transfer of Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford to Paris Saint-Germain. I mean, after the pre-season Rashford had, I did not expect this at all. However, in the afternoon, from various French sources, it was suggesting that Rashford wants to leave to Paris Saint-Germain. As according to L'Equipe, Paris Saint-Germain have made contact with Marcus Rashford's camp. Talks have progressed positively as his contract runs out in June 2023 and Paris are ready to give him an opportunity to relaunch his career. And then according to Santi Arona, Marcus Rashford wants to go to Paris Saint-Germain. And finally according to Julian Lawrence, Marcus Rashford is keen on a new challenge at Paris Saint-Germain with him having one year left on his Manchester United deal. Three separate journalists from France have suggested that Manchester United's number 10, Marcus Rashford, could be on his way to Paris Saint-Germain. I mean, after the transfer madness that we've been hearing so far with the links of Marco Arnautovic, Adrian Rabiot and co, could there be any more madness at Manchester United? Well, if we go back to Jason Burr of The Telegraph, well, according to him, it would take an extraordinary offer for Marcus Rashford to make Manchester United interested in in selling him at this stage and this is despite PSG having met Dwayne Maynard Marcus Rashford's brother last week and this was reiterated by Paul Hurst as he said Manchester United are likely to reject any formal bid from PSG for Marcus Rashford as they want to keep him this right here was always going to be the case for Manchester United with us already being weak in the attacking department with us really only having four senior attackers Manchester United were never going to let Marcus Rashford go with only 20 days left in the transfer window and especially with him having a decent pre-season tour under Eric Ten Hag. Clearly Eric Ten Hag rates him. Clearly Eric Ten Hag believes Marcus Rashford could return to the form he has shown before and if he could return to the form he has shown before, especially under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in seasons like 1920, well, if that Marcus Rashford would return, there was no chance that Manchester United were ever going to sell him to Paris Saint-Germain. But with that being said, that was the latest episode of Transfers FC. And lads, if you did enjoy the video or found it informative in any way, shape or form, well, you know what to do. Go down there and smash that like button for your boy. Consider subscribing to my channel as we are now on the road to 1,500 subscribers. And if we are not to get someone like Frankie de Jong, for me, Manchester United should go all out and get Sergei Milinkovic Savic. But with that being said, for now guys, I'm out. Peace. Peace.